All right, I think I got you. I had to, um, so here's what's going on, everyone. Good to see you. Thanks for waiting. Sorry, everything's messed up. I'm on my laptop, and I'm not feeling good anyway, so today was going to be a little bit of a bummer. But the YouTube app on my phone is not working, uh, so it's super annoying. And so I had to go live from the uh, old computer. So give me a second, because I can get you guys. What's up, what's up, what's up? I see some of you right now. I can see uh, Chris Brandt, Wolfie Dream, hello. Jam Jambies was wondering what is the best advice you can give on keeping a green iguana. Big enclosure, high humidity, lots of foliage and branches for it to walk around on, and uh, water ball and cypress mulch, and yeah, man, space. Space is the key. Uh, all right, so you guys are hanging. We got a lot of people on here. I'm going to try and uh, pop this chat out. So I can see you all talking to me without having to be on that. We got it. You guys still there? Yes. All right. I'm good. Um, hey, guys. Sorry. Like I said, man, this is kind of weird. So check this drama out, man. On the old uh, phone, on the iPhone, the YouTube app is uh, just not working well. So whenever I try and go live, okay, it's just <clears throat> crashing. So I'm sorry about that. Um, so we will talk no more about that. Uh, at the top of the video, the title tells you I'm sick. I got a cold. I don't think I have the flu. I feel a little bit sore. I feel a little bit run down, but uh, I'm going to walk out in the sun. I feel, you know, not myself, so I'm kind of bummed of that, man. Uh, there you go. So uh, let me drip it back. There we go. All right, everybody. This is it, man. We're hanging out on the laptop, the old Mac. Um Oh my gosh, the Dina Zot Zote is hanging out. Where are you, man? 2 a.m. in India, go to sleep, crazy person. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Doctoring, do you have any medicine? I don't like taking medicine. I just kind of heal on my own, but I'm going. Let's show off the tan shaved head. Um, guys, man, it's just nuts. Judy, Polanco, I'm not making any promises about kicking the bucket. I'm strong. I ain't going anywhere, at least not today. Uh, yeah, Entroponics, it could be SARS, it could be SARS. Uh, no news on the Fly River Hilton Exotic Aquatics, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, let's see, working out, I've been working out all week, Adrian Garcia, so I've just been drinking a lot of water, and uh, I should be all right. I think it's going to be like a 24-hour deal. I have to get better by tomorrow because two reasons. One, I'm going to Miami to go check out a few people and a few animal places, and two, if Kyle watches this live stream and he sees that I'm sick, Kyle will not let me in the car because he is a germaphobe and I might have some germs. Oh, I got some bags under my eyes. Ugh, God, my goodness. So anyway, we're here. I'm hanging out. We're live. I'm glad we can do this. Um, pond is looking good. There it is. Um, you know, the shadows are the late afternoon shadows are starting to come up. But there it is. I like doing the videos uh, from from here so it's pretty good and uh, we'll get you a nice little pretty waterfall in the background so um, you know Josh Whitaker I wouldn't put beta fish with your uh, painted turtles painted turtles will eat fish so I'd look out for that um, <clears throat> Wolfie dream thank you I love the ponds too yeah Redfoot I don't know what the deal is with the cool weather man we've had some cool weather here it's been amazing actually it's been the most amazing February that I can remember in Florida uh, ever. It's been in the 80s, it's been super hot, it's been rad. Uh, but unfortunately, um, it got cold here in March. So it's really bizarre, but I think this is gonna be the last of the um, the last of the cold snaps. So I probably caught a little bit of a cold from running around in the change of temperature and stuff, so that's what happened there. Uh, let's see, we just went through a nor'easter snow three feet. Yeah, making me jealous of palm trees. Yeah, man, Jam Jambies. I got family up in Long Island, New York, and friends in New England, and they've been just so swamped, man. It's been awesome. It's been awesome up there. 23 degrees, no way. Uh, someone asked if they could feed tortoises rotten food. No. Tortoises need good, healthy food. Uh, Tal Stardom. Hi, I'm Tal, and I'm, I'm in Africa. I wish I was in Africa. Africa is one of my bucket list places to see. I hope to get there a few times in the rest of my life. I can't wait, man. Uh, Jason Von Kahn, weather is same here in Las Vegas. I used to live in Vegas, man. Good for you. Very cool. Emilio Rendon, do I have a favorite animal? Yeah. 
turtles, crocodiles, lizards, snakes, fish. I love them all, man. Uh, Judy Polanco lives in Long Island. I can put a pump tree up in there. Nah, not for long, pal. I used to live in Long Island. Uh, thank you, Agate uh, Tooch. Appreciate that. So, okay, so here we are. We're hanging out, and um, Yari P Pina, nice to meet you. Uh, we're hanging out. I'm a little bit scattered, man. I, I really don't feel good. It's not an act, so I'm not going to be very long on here. I'm trying to bake in the sun, and my head got red because yesterday I was really baking in the sun, and Kate yelled at me because I burned my, my rather large five head. It's usually like four head. But I got a five head, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I just keep going, man. I'm starting to look like a turtle. You know, as my hair falls out, I get more of a turtly face. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't mind. It was time to go. Luckily, I have a round head, so it works good. Uh, the fish are good, man. Fish are real good. I just got some golden algae eaters. A friend of mine gifted me 30 little golden algae eaters. They also eat the dead skin off of people's feet, so... If I feel like getting um, nibbled on, I can go in my pond and these fish will nibble on me. Pretty cool. Uh, what else is going on? Okay, let's talk about some things right now. There were some things I wanted to discuss, um, but uh, I don't know how great I'm going to be, man. Uh, yes, Wolfie Dream, I am bugging hardcore. Uh, actually, tortoise chow is pretty good for green iguanas, jam jambies. Um, Let's see. So things I want to get off my chest. Uh, we just we have that new uh, setup. Some of you I saw a thread on the video that was on Tuesday about the new Camp Kennan uh, tortoise setup. Some of you were worried about the size of it. Uh, I don't know if those of you who commented actually watched the video, which is disturbing and disappointing because I go through the trouble to make the videos. Um, but everyone was kind of like, uh, not everyone, a few knuckleheads. And I say that very lovingly, but a few knuckleheads were saying, ah, it's not big enough, blah, 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 blah. And really getting down on it. Um, number one, as I said in the video, it is for hatchling tortoises, baby tortoises for the first year of life. If you make a tortoise go from this big to that big in a year, you're doing something wrong. Uh, you want slow, steady growth, right? So it's better to raise a hatchling in a more controlled environment than it is to just like give him a lot of space. You'll notice your tortoise just hides all the time. Baby tortoises hide. So when they hide, um, they're doing that because they'll live near their food source. They'll live near a plant that they can eat and get bigger. Uh, but they are very secretive and they like to hide a lot. So it's better for you to have a smaller enclosure to begin with so you can monitor its growth, make sure it's eating, make sure it's drinking, make sure it's moving in and out of its thermal gradients. So I, along with Kevin Dunn from uh, Pinellas Reptiles, we – came up with that size because one, it's perfect for a baby tortoise for the first year of life. It's also uh, easy for us to ship. You have to take that into consideration. And I wanted to start, or I wanted to have a starter, a starter kit, okay? So it's a kit for newbies. Guys, you know, it's funny. Um, I listened to Gary Vaynerchuk, really brilliant guy. And, uh, he used to do a wine show on YouTube, and it's kind of fun. And this is what I preach against, too. He and I have the same kind of mindset when it comes to information and giving information. I like to give people information, and I like to do it in a way that is inclusive, not exclusive. So many people that I've come in contact with that's on the Internet, that's in life, they maybe don't have a lot of things going for them, so they learn certain things, and they're protective about it. And they kind of have this holier-than-thou way of spilling forth education. I don't like that. I like to be inclusive. I want you guys to feel comfortable when you come on the channel. I'll never swat you down if you ask a question. There's no stupid questions. Um, so, you know, if you guys are going to teach me, I am so willing to learn. Actually, you guys taught me a lot about fish, which is awesome. I'm not a fish expert and I have things in the works, some collabs with some real big fish people. So I'm excited about that. But guys, the internet has a culture of jumping on everyone, and you may not like what I'm doing, and that's okay. I don't need everyone to like me. I'm a big boy. I can take it. But can you guys at least be constructive in your criticism? That's what I'm just asking. Maybe I'm asking for too much, but I believe I believe in the goodness of people. Uh, maybe. Anyway, man. So what I'm trying to do is create a starter kit for noobs, 
who, if they want to get a baby tortoise, maybe their parents want to buy them a one-stop shop. They trust me. They know that I'm giving them the good info. Everything we gave in that kit works. Now, if you want to add potting soil, I mentioned that in the video. Okay, we can't very well cram every single item needed. This is a good starter kit. It'll get you, uh, it'll get your tortoise up and running, and then you guys can tweak it. And I think it looks nice. Some of us don't want a concrete mixing tub in the middle of the living room. Maybe you want to have something where you can view the turtle, um, and therefore you have a nice PVC tank. It's not glass. It's PVC. So there you go. That's all I'll say on that. I'm prattling on. Okay, there you have it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I would love to do a collab with King of DIY. Um, that would be so cool, Hilton Aquatics. Um, he did comment on my cichlids video, and I commented back. Uh, I haven't received a DM from him yet, but I'm going to reach out to him again. I'd love for him to come down to South Florida. I'd love to show him around the camp, and I'd love to bring him to some of the fish hatcheries that are down here. I'm sure he'd love that. Um, we have a plan to go to some of the fish hatcheries for the Camp Kennan show because the show is about my love and thirst for knowledge and learning about these animals. And I guarantee you guys, I'm going to learn a lot uh, very quickly because, uh, you know, you just have to be passionate about learning. So we're going to learn together. I may make some mistakes, but hey, uh, I know I'm going to be excited about getting these fish up and running. And there are going to be more ponds with more fish and more turtles, so don't sweat it. But let's get to some um, let's get to some questions, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Debonair Reptiles asks if I have any babies for sale. I have some baby elongated tortoises. Email me at camptenant at gmail.com. Uh, Syag Blanquet, romaine lettuce to a baby sulcata every day? No. Um, vary the diet. Collard greens, romaine. Uh, yellow squash, shredded carrots, a little bit of shredded zucchini, um, you know, turnip greens, Missouri tortoise diet, zoo med grassland tortoise pellets. Uh, you can kind of go ahead and moisten those, and that'll uh, be more palatable uh, there. Um, let's see. Do I have any radiated hatchlings? Uh, Luke Rees. Not yet, but I have eggs in the incubator, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, hold on. I I got, amen, got banned from a forum because my enclosure was, let's read this. My enclosure wasn't up to their standards. It wasn't made out of chipboard, which is garbage, at least around here it is. Appreciate you and the way you teach. Thanks, Jam Jambies. Look, man, you know, if something's wrong, I'm going to tell you, okay? Um, <clears throat> but, you know, certain people, a lot of the knowledge they have uh, is just directly from reading off the internet. So you'll find as you get older and more experienced in reptile keeping, you're going to notice that some things that people take as gospel, like no glass aquariums, um, I minimize it. I put three sides, but I put a glass front because I figured people would want to see their tortoise. Um, so that's not so bad. Many of my tortoises are not pacing the cover. But what you can also do is tweak it a little bit by taking some black, uh, black duct tape and put it along the bottom portion of it. I was just basically trying to make something that is aesthetically nice to look at and has all the ingredients to get a tortoise through the difficult first year of life. Uh, let's see. I do, I do have yellow belly sliders, astronaut, gamer, geek. Uh, Chad P, put a ring on Kate soon. Better hurry. You're out. You're out. Kick your coverage. I don't know what you mean. Slow and steady like a tortoise. We've been dating one year. We have plenty of time. Uh, let's see. But I love it. Uh, Hilton Aquatics, so glad you're in contact with Joey. I, I don't know if I'm in contact with him. <clears throat> you definitely need to get in contact with him as well. He's extremely knowledgeable, and he loves turtles. Well, look at that. I've been watching some of his videos. He has an amazing place. Uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know, is Corey, is Corey the guy, is Corey um, uh, king of DIY? I, it's, it's, it's strange, man. I don't know everyone's names. I think Joey is that guy's name. I don't know who Corey is. So um, tell me who Corey is. There you go. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Jackie McClayson. Always wanted a turtle. Had him as a little kid. Now I have stage four cancer and I'm immune compromised. It's safe to have turtles. Also, how much can you handle babies? Jackie, man, let me first say I'm so sorry that you're uh, going through that right now, man. That's a bummer. And I want everybody on here to, you know, send good vibes, shouts of um, encouragement to Jackie McClayson. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that you have cancer. I had a good buddy of mine. Uh, had had cancer and it's a horrible disease. So all of our th thoughts are with you. Um, my advice, buddy, would be to contact your doctor because if you're going through chemo or radiation, 
you know, you are going to have a compromised immune system. And I know they don't want you to kind of be around a lot of people uh, or animals. Um, there is always the, the chance that, you know, if you're handling a baby turtle, uh, you know, you could get sick. So, you know, if you can do it in a way where the tortoises or turtle are in an aquarium that you can see them uh, and not have a lot of contact with them and, and have the people helping you in your recovery, uh, if you have them doing the maintenance on that, that might be a possibility since you don't need to actually touch them to appreciate them. But baby tortoises and turtles don't want to be handled all the time, buddy. But more importantly, but brother, uh, Jackie, I, I want you to get well, man. I hope I hope you all the best, man. So everybody, get behind Jackie and uh, let's get behind him, okay? Thank you so much. A lot of prayers out there. Um, let's see, man. Let's see what else we got out there. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I have a tourist who lives in a tank, so how can I make her life better? Well, I don't know how big she is or how big the tank is, but what you can do is block out uh, the sides of the tank to kind of decrease the, 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 the way they walk and pace the tank. Make sure the humidity is right. Get a humidity gauge. Make sure you've got the UVB and all that good stuff. It's hard to tell you because you want to – I don't know what type of tortoise you actually have. Um, so there you go. Yeah, look at that. Everyone's – the Camp Kennan Army is pulling together for Jackie. Um, we take care of each other, guys. We only have positive vibes, man. To go back to an earlier discussion, you know, I'm never going to be 100% right, and I'm not afraid of being wrong. And I think that's the only way you learn. You have to be uh, willing to make mistakes, and I'm not going to be perfect. I've, not, I've been less than perfect already, but um, you have to always be willing to admit when you're wrong and to kind of push on, take your lumps, forgive yourself, and move on. So in the past, when I was growing up, I'll be the first to say many of my animals died when I was a young lad because we didn't have YouTube and people that were dedicated. We didn't have a lot of good literature, so a lot of it was trial and error. And I think that's why um, in my adult life, why I'm so um, – I go overboard to really give these animals the best possible life. Uh, so it just hurts a little bit when I see somebody, you know, say that, you know, that's too small or that's not good. It's like, come on, guys. I'm not going to put something out I can't stand behind. So there you go. Uh, any more swim widths? Matt Swift, yeah, uh, Smith, yes. More swimming widths are on the way, but Kyle had torn apart his entire um, – pool and it'll be redone in june so we should be back into that uh in june all right can't wait otherwise i'm gonna have to do swimming widths in the pond for a little while which won't be as exciting but yeah we have some cool swimming widths on uh we have some cool swimming widths on tap so it'll be awesome uh let's see let's see let's see best foods for redfoot tortoises and how to keep humidity in a redfoot outdoor and tortoise house um you know, I don't know where you live, but uh, I have no problems with humidity here. Uh, redfoot tortoises, don't forget, are kind of variable species. They live over a large, a large, a large range, uh, a large range in South America. So they are found in grasslands and forest and jungle. Um, so they can take a wider variety of habitat and environment. So if it gets a little bit drier, like in the realm of like 60 degrees humid or 60 percent humidity, then that's okay. But what you can do is put a water dish inside their house, and that will evaporate and create humidity. You can mist them down in that house. You could, uh, if you have a baby, a lot of sphagnum moss. If you have adults and they're um, they're outdoors, you can put uh, leaves. Dead leaves will decompose. You can moisten the leaves, and that'll help out too. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, hi, I emailed my info about turtles and tortoises. Hope you feel better soon, and hope to hear from you. Emailed on the homepage. Sony Johnson, thank you so much. Um, uh, if you mean the homepage. Uh, hopefully, um, it's campcannon at gmail.com. That's the way you got to get to it. Uh, let's see. Toxic kiwi. Um, you know, I, I try and offer my animals at a reduced price, uh, and I do give discounts if you're buying more than one. So uh, I'm willing to do discounts for more than one animal. Uh, Galaxy, do you live in Texas? We have most of those species in the wild around here. Uh, I do not live in Texas. I live in South Florida. Um, Cory Aquarium Coop. Okay, Justin, I'll look for that, buddy. Uh, Frocious. I'm not dying. Certainly not dying. There are others that are uh, involved in more of a gnarly fight. And my, my lovely girlfriend, Kate, is saying hi with hearts. And I saw the other one, the other comment too, young lass, my beautiful lass. My mom's inside, guys. And she's making me chicken soup. So excited. Thank goodness my parents are here. So unbelievable. 
Uh, Camp Kennan, I went fishing, but I got a turtle. Ramon Ramirez, awesome. Uh, hopefully it didn't get hooked and you were able to get the hook out if you did hook it. Uh, so there you go. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, you got a toxic kiwi. Um, Jason Von Kine. Kennan, what is your opinion on keeping radiates in Las Vegas? Humidity. Uh, you know, you may want to talk to, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? Tyler Stewart. Tyler Stewart is out in Las Vegas. Uh, turtles and tortoises, and uh, he must have radiated. They do well out there, uh, but it does get extremely hot. So it's easier to add humidity by moisting them or putting on misters than it is to remove humidity. So you can keep radiateds out there. I have friends who keep radiateds in um, Arizona, and they do very, very well. Just make sure you have, you can wet hay down. You can do a lot of stuff like that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Cove Clan, I'm going all right. I'm going to be okay. Uh, thanks, Simon Gaming. Uh, do I have Redfoot Tortoises? Yes, there's videos on Redfoot Tortoises. And would I get a Bearded Dragon for the camp? Hope I get better. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm not going to do Bearded Dragons. Uh, I love them. They're great. But, um, you know, I like to keep animals outside. That being said, um, you never know what's going to happen in the future. Um, so, who knows? But, uh, you know... I'm excited because Kyle and I are working on something extremely special, and I think you guys are going to be pumped, and I hope to meet many of you in person when it becomes time for us to uh, to get this thing going. So there'll be a place, can you see me? There'll be a place where you guys can go to see all my animals, Kyle's animals, and it's going to be exciting, and I hope you guys will help us support it because it's going to take all of us working together. Uh, so there you have it. Um, all right, listen, guys. <coughs> Got to be honest, we we talked for a while here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off. I don't feel too good, but I do appreciate everyone. I think I've covered everything I want to cover. Um, again, man, I'm not uber sensitive. I appreciate everyone's comments. Let's try and be constructive. Let's try and help each other, man. No one likes a know it all, and I'm not a know it all. But I like to give you what I know in a fun way, and we learn from each other. So uh, there we go. I'm going, guys. I'm going going God have a great weekend there'll be new videos coming out soon and a lot planned so thank you very much if you want go on over to Camp Kennan Army hit subscribe submit videos we need more videos where are you people come on man go check it out uh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel I appreciate you guys so much thank you so much we'll see you later and we will Wesley apex more videos of herpin we're gonna get out there in the wild <laughs> we'll see you later I can't shout because it hurts my throat bye bye now